What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, I'm back for another tutorial. This one's a pretty cool effect, I've never done it before. Okay, this lighting's much better. Anyway, this effect is pretty sick, let's get to it. Okay, how's that for an effect? Pretty sick, right? Um, it's gonna take a lot of keyframe, oh, uh, one second. It's all done with some keyframing, it's really really simple, you can do it on your pet, you can do it on a human, you can do it on an alien, whatever you want to, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Vegas Pro 16, and this is the clip you basically just watched. So, I'm going to play it through. Let's get to it. Okay, how's that for Now notice when I done it, um, I tried to stay still. The reason for that is because it does involve a lot of masking. It's best if you stay still. If you're going to be moving around, it's just going to take a bit more time. Of course, this is only an example, so I can make it a bit quick. Anyway, when you do it, make sure you take your time. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, find the spot where you want this effect to take place. Mine's going to be here on this clip. Then what you want to do, uh, get a new video track. So you just right click, insert a new video track. Make sure it's above. Then on this clip here, just press U on your keyboard. So it separates the um, video from the audio. Press Control C, press Control V on the new clip. Then what you can do, press the top clip, hold Shift and select the bottom clip, including the audio. Right click, select group and create new. Then everything synced back together. So we're only going to be working with the top track from now on. And what you want to do is first go to the pan crop. First of all, we're starting off with the masking. So this is the part which will be taking the longest. It's the part which I highly recommend you take your time on because the longer you take on this, the better the effect will look. So first thing you're going to do is zoom into the eyes. Yes, my eyes are not the best. Anyway, I don't give a shit. I've heard it too many times. Anyway, <laughs> what you're going to be doing is left clicking, uh, dragging out these points. Basically, just go around the eyes like that. Of course, then you want to go around the other one and connect it back up. And there we go. Now, we're not done just yet. What you want to do is right click, select and select all. You want to change up. Oh, looks like we can't you want to right click or left click one right click select select path where it says feather type change it to out and i recommend changing this to one percent now same for the one next to it right click it select 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 path select feather type select out and select one percent so this is where your fun begins you need to go through your video and every time you move you basically need to move or match this up as well so the way I recommend you do this, have sync cursor checked, go across in your timeline and you can see subtle movements here, just uh, match it up with your eyes. And I'm just going to speed all this up because I'm just going to keep waffling shits. Okay, I'm completely done. Um, I'm not going to lie, I didn't do it as accurate as I should, but this is just a tutorial I highly recommend you do take your time when you do this. Anyway, once that is done, the next thing you're going to be doing is heading over to video effects and from here I recommend you add on either color balance or color corrector. Now I'm going to add on color balance, it's completely optional which one you use. Drag and drop this onto the top track. Now from here this is where you pick basically what color you want your eyes to be. So I'm going to put all the way green, as you can see it makes my eyes go green. If I put all the way blue, it makes them go blue. Now you can play around with the colors you can see, um, play around with what works for you. You can get different colors. I'm going to go with this yellow for now. And I'm going to X out of this. Now just playing it through currently, this is what we get. So of course it gives that glow effect. However, just to make it look a little bit more better, we're going to add some rays to it. So what you're going to do, come up to plugins, type in rays. As you can see, it's called rays, where it says alpha. Drag and drop this again onto the top track. We can get a bit more of rays here. And now we can move on to some of the settings. So a trick here, first of all, where it says raise up here, drag it to the left. As you can see, it automatically matches the color of our eyes that we picked. So where it says key alpha channel, make sure that stays ticked. Now the only ones you're going to be need to adjusting from here to match what you want is threshold, noise, boost, peak, and of course the hue if you want to change a color. If you wanted to change a color, then put the raise back in front. As you can see, you then get control of the color like that. However, if you want to match the color to your eyes, which I assume you do, just drag it there. The main things that's going to be working for you though is peak, as you can see, 
and also boost. Then noise also helps as well, so you can see it creates more of these streaks. Then threshold again, it's completely up to you how you have this. Then it does make a slight difference. Now I'm going to X out of it, believe it or not, we're done, so I'll play it through. Okay. How's that? Okay. Of course there's a little bit of movement as you can see on the eyes, but it's not too bad considering I rushed it. You will take your time, you will make it perfect, and the effect will look really, really good. But that is it. That's how you can create glowing eyes in Vegas Pro 16. <laughs>